Hey guys, this is Mr. Farrell. So we're gonna give we're gonna talk about some of these things that you just read. So you should have been in week three, number two, the eco ecological levels reading and vocab. So we're gonna talk about some of these definitions that you should have uh, wrote down for the vocab and some of the read some of the stuff you read and maybe found on the Google slide. So I'm gonna switch over here. And when we talk about these levels, a lot of times we use a pyramid and we use a pyramid to kind of help us see which, which one's the smallest, which one's the biggest and how do they how do they fit? Like, is a population bigger or smaller than a community or where is an ecosystem? Is ecosystem the biggest thing? So sometimes we use a pyramid to kind of help this. And I'm also going to give you an example of like what these things would be and how do they, what's the differences. So the first thing we have is an organism and please excuse my writing. We're going to zoom in here other way. We're going to zoom in. So if I write terrible, I'm sorry because I'm using a new pad. So we got our organism. All right. So an organism is just one thing, one individual living thing. So for my example, I'm just going to say like one bear. I'm going to use an example of a forest. So just one bear. Um, now, it could be anything we're talking about. I could talk about one bear. I could talk about one bird. I could talk about one chipmunk. It doesn't matter. An organism, just one living thing. So a lot of times when you see animals, they're not necessarily by themselves. So for example, we might see a, we might see three bears. So we might see a mama bear with two cubs or something like that. So if I'm talking about multiple of one kind of thing, so like multiple bears or multiple uh, deer, we're going to refer to that as a population. Okay, so organism is just one thing. A population is going to be multiple things here. And we can talk about different kinds of populations. Sorry. We can talk about uh, bear population. We can talk about human population. So like when you go to a, like when you're driving down the road and you go to a city, it'll say like, welcome to Dalton. And it'll say population 33,500 people. Okay. When we're talking about the population, we're talking about just one kind that 33,500 is how many people live in Dalton. That's not how many people um, are in Dalton at one time. That's how many people that live in Dalton. So um, we can also talk about populations of different things. I can talk about the population of Whitfield County. I can talk about the population of Georgia or the United States. So with population, I got, I'm going to have to define where I'm looking at. So like I said, if I'm, if we're counting the population of Dalton. I will, I'm saying I'm counting how many people live in Dalton. All right. So our example, we got three bears. So three bears. Okay. And maybe I had some other populations. Maybe I say seven deer. And maybe I find, uh, we'll say 13, um, chipmunks. I think it's going to cut me off. Yeah, it's going to cut me off. Um, so I have multiple populations. So I have a bear population. I have a deer population, a chipmunk population. So I just took a bunch of populations and put them together. And uh, so uh, one way to think about a community is a bunch of populations put together. So community. Okay, so community. It's a bunch of populations put together. But also, two, so we have three populations here. We got three different kinds of animals or three different species. 
Um, now, don't forget, though, that things like plants are also populations. They're living things. So we could have pine trees and maybe we have oak trees. That's going to cut me off, too. So um, that's a community. Now, a community, if we look, all these things are living. So we have two words that you guys should have saw. saw. We saw biotic and abiotic, all right? Anytime we see these three words, to, these three letters together, bio, bio, that means life, okay? So up here, same thing life. Okay, I'm going to circle that to kind of make that separate. Okay, so biotic, we're talking about living things. And abiotic, we're talking about, I'm going to get rid of that in that's bothering me. Abiotic, we're talking about non-living things. So non-living. Now we're going to switch colors. This A right here, this A means not or without. So what we're saying is this is life, this is not life or not living, or this is without life. So now you guys should have done the Jamboard recently. So one of the things that it said, or one of the topics or the things on there was a dead mouse. So what do you guys think the mouse would be? Do you think it'd be biotic or abiotic? Well, we have to talk about, is there a difference between living and non-living? Okay. Or is there a difference between, actually a better question is, is there a difference between non-living and dead? So that dead mouse is dead. But that dead mouse, we could say it's non-living too. But for example, if I'm talking about this pin, this pin is non-living, but the pin isn't dead. There's a difference be between non-living and dead. Sometimes like the mouse, they can mean the same thing. But other times when we're talking about something like this pin, they don't mean the same thing. This pin isn't dead, but it is non-living. So we're going to say biotic things are living We'll say they used to live, so used to live, or we're going to say they're part of living things. So part of living things. Let me add an S there. And we're going to say abiotic um, has never lived. So never lived. Okay. So if we're talking about this pen, we'd say it's abiotic because it has never lived. But something such as that dead mouse, well, it's dead, but we consider it biotic because it used to live. Okay, so the community, I'm going to write in a different color down here. So the community is biotic. Okay. So all these things down here are biotic. Now, how do we, what's bigger, what can we add here? Well, we can add all the biotic things. Let's add the abiotic things in here. All right, and what we call this is the ecosystem. Okay. So just like the population where we said if we're counting the population in Dalton, we're just focusing on Dalton. Same thing with the community and ecosystem. We're just focusing on that specific place. So we're focusing on the population in Dalton. We can focus on the community in Dalton, all the biotic things in Dalton. We can focus on the ecosystem, all the living and non-living things in Dalton. So um, these three words we have to we have to specify where we're looking. So let's go back to our example on the sides. We've been kind of writing this on the side. What would a 
example look like? Well, just like, ooh, sorry, just like down here, I kept my bears. Well, my bears are still going to be in the ecosystem. So I got my three bears. Okay, then I'm going to add my seven deer. I'm going to add my, let's see, what else did I say here? I'm going to move me over here. Um, I have my 13 chipmunks. Okay, I got my pine trees. I got my oak trees. All right, and then we're going to add some things that are different. We got to add the abiotic things. So things like abiotic, non living, they could be water, they could be dirt, they could be rocks. But also, there's a lot of these things we see are the things that I've wrote down are things that we can see. But there's also other things. We can say the amount of light or the temperature or the air or the humidity that's how much water is in the air those sorts of things can be in a ecosystem and so we're going to include one last thing here this is our biosphere and with our biosphere this is the whole earth so remember we said bio means life a sphere is a circle so this is all the things um, in earth that's in that living part. So we have things such as living things on the surface of the earth. There's things in the dirt. So there's things like bugs. There's things like uh, worms and other creepy crawly things. There's things such as, uh, there's things in the water such as fish. There's things in the air. So anything that's in that layer where things live is gonna be in the biosphere. So, Hopefully this makes sense. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, and I hope to see you guys soon.